In 2023, the music industry witnessed significant and noteworthy changes, including the increased prominence of artists from beyond the Western Hemisphere and the emergence of artificial intelligence replicating artists' vocals to generate new music. These developments sparked numerous discussions, both positive and negative, within the music community. As of 2024, I've examined the present music scene and identified certain trends that I believe might emerge in the coming year, potentially altering the way we experience and engage with music. If you're new around here, my name is Ollie and this channel is all about making music sound better to you. If that's something you're interested in, subscribe to the channel. 2023, one format gained significant traction not primarily focused on the music itself, but rather the way it could be enjoyed, the concert film. Now the existence of concert films is not a recent development. They've been part of the entertainment la landscape for quite some time. However, in the year 2023, notable artists began leveraging this format in a significant way to offer a novel and engaging experience prompting their fan base to attend screenings in cinemas. Notably, of course, it was the reigning queen of music herself, Taylor Swift, who broke records last year when the Eras Tour movie became the highest grossing concert film ever, bringing in a staggering $128 million. This was followed by Beyonce, whose Renaissance tour landed in cinemas towards the end of last year. So why has the concert tour format become popular again, especially after years of being somewhat overlooked? I believe there may be two reasons. Firstly, attending large stadium tours can be quite expensive. While one might assume that in a bigger stadium, artists could lower ticket prices to accommodate more fans. The reality is that most major stadium tickets often cost two, over £100 or even more. As a result, a significant portion of fans may find the live experience financially challenging. However, through concert films, they can enjoy the next best thing, featuring superior views of the shows even compared to VIP experiences for a fraction of the cost. The second reason is the shared sense of community offered by these concert films. Now we've all seen the video of the girls dancing at the era's tour screening, which admittedly is hilarious, but this video speaks to the shared connection that fans have with Taylor's music. If an artist can repeat the collective experience of a concert through the film, fans will connect with it and will be willing to pay to see it. So how will this trend manifest in 2024? Well, another concert film I failed to mention earlier was the Talking Heads Stop Making Sense tour, which was re-released into cinemas to much success last year. The ability for fans to experience these one-off moments in music history will captivate music enthusiasts into visiting their local cinema. Just picture being able to watch the Jimi Hendrix experience or the Elvis comeback special live in the cinema with the best possible sound and among fellow fans. I believe record labels will take note of the substantial viewership numbers from the previous year and seek to capitalize on the trend by bringing any recorded concert they have to the big screen. How will this impact future live performances? Will every big artist start recording their shows with the vision of bringing them to the big screen? Only time will tell, but I really expect this can only get bigger and more popular from here. In 2023, there was an unexpected success with Andre 3000's instrumental flute album, New Blue Sun, which reached number 34 of the Billboard 200. Additionally, the 12 minute, 20 second long track, I swear I really wanted to make a rap album, made its debut at number 90 on the Hot 100 charts, setting a record as the longest song to appear on the charts. While the fact that this was Andre 3000's first album in nearly two decades almost undoubtedly contributed to its popularity, there is a possibility that this marks the beginning of a new trend that could get in prominence in 2024. Instrumental music is making a comeback, and in 2024, I see it as becoming one of the most enjoyed genres. A potential contributing factor to the growing popularity of instrumental music is the trend of romanticizing your life, which has gained traction on social media platforms. This trend encourages individuals to appreciate the beauty in the small everyday moments and share them online. Platforms like TikTok and Instagram Reels showcase examples where people capture seemingly mundane activities, such as getting coffee or sitting in a park, and present them in an aesthetically pleasing and visually captivating manner. Instrumental music seamlessly aligns with this trend, serving as the perfect soundtrack to those videos and almost enhancing the overall content by acting as a movie score, adding a layer of emotional depth and elevating the viewer's experience. Is it possible that this trend will evolve further 
expanding beyond using instrumental music solely as video soundtracks to becoming the very soundtrack of people's lives. This is a concept I personally embrace, incorporating instrumental music into various moments, such as long train journeys or night nighttime strolls through London. Music often serves as a captivating and evocative backdrop to everyday life enhancing experiences and creating a personalized and immersive soundtrack to our individual journeys. Another potential factor influencing the growing demand for instrumental music is the heightened wariness surrounding artificial intelligence. As mentioned earlier, with instances of artificially generated songs being submitted for Grammy nominations, there seems to be a shift towards instrumental music as a means for listeners to reconnect with the human touch in their musical experiences. In a time when all authenticity of musical creations is increasingly questioned due to AI's involvement, the appreciation for instrumental music may be fueled by a desire for a more genuine and human connection with the art form. This inclination is likely to play a significant role in shaping people's enjoyment of instrumental music in the years ahead. When considering the apparent surge in popularity I've observed for jazz music, I am confident that this trend will continue to unfold in 2024. I anticipate the rise of artists such as Ezra Collective and the Avalanches both expected to release new music leading to a significant boost in their popularity throughout the year. The convergence of instrumental music trend and the growing appreciation for jazz suggests a promising landscape for these artists to capture a broader audience and make a notable impact in the music scene in the coming year. The upcoming trend of girl power in 2024, while not entirely novel, suggests a continued prominence of female artists leading the way in the music industry. The push for more female representation in award show nominations has likely fueled a creative surge among female artists, recognising the evolving landscape of the industry. In 2024, artists like Taylor Swift achieved record-breaking success and supergroup Boy Genius, comprised of Phoebe Bridges, Julian Baker and Lucy Dacus, made a notable return. Acclaimed artists like Caroline Polachek's Desire, I Want to Turn Into You, further underscore the flourishing talent of female musicians. Award shows too seem to acknowledge this trend with seven out of eight songs nominated for Record of the Year at the Grammys coming from female artists. Looking ahead, the hope is for female artists to persist in pushing artistic boundaries and seizing opportunities for creative expression in the years to come.